The Trump administration is taking its first steps to begin reuniting more than 2,000 undocumented migrant children and their parents separated at the U.S.-Mexico border. For more on this and other international news, let's turn to our Noah Adam. So, Adam, what's the latest on this story? Well, Mark, President Trump said Thursday that he had directed the Departments of Justice, Homeland Security and Health and Human Services to work on bringing together the separated families. It's a first step to implementing his policy-reversing executive order, which states that migrant families entering the United States should be detained together. The order still faces possible legal challenges, and administration lawyers have filed a request to modify a previous court settlement that limits the government's detention of minors to 20 days. However, Trump still insisted tougher immigration laws were needed and blamed the Democrats again for creating what he called loopholes in the current system. But the only real solution is for Congress to close the catch-and-release loopholes that have fueled the child smuggling industry. The Democrats are causing tremendous damage and destruction and lives by not doing something about this. And they know that. They know that better than anybody up there with a pen. If we don't close these loopholes, there is no amount of money or personnel in the world to address the crisis. A very serious crisis. His comments came as his wife, Melania, made a surprise visit to a border detention center in Texas. I'm here to learn about your facility and to which I know you house children on a long-term basis. And I also like to ask you how I can help to these children to reunite with their families. Uh, as quickly as possible. However, her trip was immediately thrown into controversy after she was seen wearing a jacket with the words, quote, I don't really care, do you?